Don Tolliver just released his third studio album, Lovesick. And I think this one's really interesting because he didn't really promote this one uh, up until like a couple of weeks ago, I think maybe one or two weeks ago. And I just feel like it kind of is like an album that you don't really promote because I feel like there is just a lot of Don songs on here, but there's nothing special that, that gives me the same vibes as like No Idea or Cardigan from his uh, debut album. I just feel like everything since then he hasn't really put in, you know, anything super amazing. And I don't know. I just feel like everything since then hasn't really lived up to that. And I think this album is kind of the same on that. But there are some solid tracks on here. I just think there's nothing really that special. Love Sickness, I like the dark production. Dawn's voice sounds pretty solid. And the futuristic sounds on the voice or on the beat work well to fit the song. I don't really like some of the effects they put on Don's voice, but this is a pretty solid generic Don Tolliver song. The song is a little short and doesn't do much during its time. Let Her Go. I don't really like Don's falsetto to start off the song. It just doesn't really work. And I like Don's silky voice on some of the verses. And the production is pretty generic, though, and doesn't really do anything special to me. James Blake inclusion on the track is interesting as Don's voice and his create this really, like, interesting yet charming melodic sound his hums and ooh on the song actually really complement the song and his part is definitely my favorite as the synths come in and make a really futuristic sound leave the club the production is pretty generic and the mixing on don's voice is a little weird at the beginning i like some parts of the song with the snares sounding solid but i don't really like don's voice that much dirk puts in a solid verse but the atmospheric production doesn't really fit his voice that well the beat switch is pretty cool and i like it but i don't really like glorilla's voice that much and it kind of kind of ruins her voice for me for me the song has a lot more upbeat production i feel like it kind of only works with don's voice Callie's voice also really suits the track with the more atmospheric sound after Callie's introduction into the sound i feel like don kind of finally suits the song better go down don sounds good on this song but i don't really like his inflection on a lot of the songs the production rises a little bit too much on the 808s and i don't really like how they use them the tisa korean feature is really interesting because of all the effects that they have on his voice but it does work on the song that keeps a really interesting futuristic sound on the song. Time Heals All, a pretty solid transition from the last song to this one. I really love the dark synths on this song. I feel like the song is kind of boring though besides that as Don's voice doesn't really do too much on the song at all. And the verses are kind of boring. Leather Coat is another pretty generic beat to me. I don't really think Don does anything interesting in the first half of the song. But the beat switch is really interesting I think the build up or like the rebuild up of the beat works well. The bridge is a little bit too long. It doesn't keep my attention that much as a listener. Uh, Honeymoon, another really solid transition from the previous song. The production is interesting with a metronome-ish instrument in the background. His inflection on his voice doesn't really do it for me as I feel like it's a little forced and doesn't really work. Private Landing is another pretty generic beat. And I just kind of hate Future's flow on this song as he just sounds so bored. It's like you're paying for a future feature. You want the real future. And it's just like he... They really didn't put in his A game for this one. He doesn't come in with like any energy and just moving that kind of a snail's pace throughout his entire verse. Also, there's a Justin Bieber verse. I know they traded verse, but both of those songs just completely suck. And I feel like Justin Bieber's verse on this one just doesn't really work at all. And it's just not needed on this song. Slow motion. I like the more slow moving beat on this one. Oh my God. Slow motion, slow moving. Yeah. I sadly just don't really like WizKid's voice and accent. It's kind of weird, but like it just doesn't work for me. I don't really feel like it fits the song well. Some of the effects on Don's voice actually work. I think overall he sounds good on this song, but there's not really anything special about this song, and overall it's just not that entertaining. Do It Right, the production is a lot faster tempo, which I feel like kind of suits Don's voice a lot lot better overall the song works pretty well but as a lead single for the album it's nothing special it seems like a lot of the other songs on the album it kind of just fits everything else uh if i had i don't really like the effects on don's voice throughout the song but i like the chorus and it sounds pretty good especially with charlie wilson in the background charlie wilson has such a beautiful voice and it suits the really slow pace of the song just allowing his voice to kind of envelop you company part three uh, I like this song a lot more than some of the other ones. I feel like Don kind of sounds pretty solid. And his voice works with the production that's kind of a little bit slower and just complements his voice. Bus Stop, I feel like some of the effects at the beginning of the song are a little weird. But I like the bounce that like the kind of beat brings. It's really nice. And the, the lyrics are a little weird, especially when they talk about a bus stop. It's like a little kid thing. I don't know. It's weird. But the woman's voice that kind of sings those part does kind of work. I like kind of the slowing down of the beat to just like the chop and slop sound that kind of comes in when Brent's there. And I feel like Brent's voice works a lot better on the much slower production and kind of just feels like a Brent song after he comes in, which is a little weird. 
But, I mean, it, it works, and I like it. And the production kind of just perfectly fits his voice. Like, I feel like that second half of the song, the Brent part, is something that could have been on a Brent album. But either way, though, it kind of works with both of them together. I feel like both of their parts are pretty solid. Cinderella, the slow production, doesn't really work for me. As I feel like kind of nothing happens on the actual song. It's kind of just a really boring song. And to- Toro y moi, I think that's how you say it. They don't really do much for me on this song. Last but not least, Encouragement. I actually really like this song with a stripped down production. It doesn't do enough to build up the song to higher heights as I feel like the chorus is kind of wasted on two kind of boring and generic verses that don't really complement it that well as I feel like the chorus is like a little bit, you know, chiller and then the, you know, the verses could have been a little bit more build to bring back a little bit more energy into the song. Either way though, I wish Dawn could have just brought some more energy to the song. Overall, though, I feel like this album is just so weird to me because Don, yeah, he kind of hit his peak with uh, with Heaven or Hell. And I feel like since then, it, nothing's really come out where I've been like, wow, I need to listen to this, this Don Tolliver song. Like, Cardigan, After Party were just two banger songs that I just love from Heaven or Hell. And there are, like, a lot of other good tracks on the album. And then you go to, like, Life of a Dawn, and I feel like nothing came out of that besides maybe Drugs and Hella Melodies, or the song, I mean, even the song with Travis Scott doesn't have that many plays, and there's, I mean, there's two songs with Travis Scott, but they don't have that many plays, and I feel like he's just kind of been going downhill, coasting off that same fame, but he's not putting out anything that really is, you know, breaking any boundaries, and I feel like with his voice and with his talent, he could put out something that I feel like is amazing, but he's kind of just sticking with the same producers and isn't really trying to evolve it into a sense where I could see something amazing coming out of this. I don't think this is a bad album by any means, but I just think it's kind of boring and average, and it doesn't really give me oh, he's moving in the right direction. It kind of just seems like he's sticking with the same style that he's working with. And it's not like he's sticking that same style and he's making some bangers like Cardigan or After Party, but he's just kind of sticking to it and making these like boring generic songs that are cool on album with, you know, bangers. But I feel like they're all just these super boring and generic songs. And while, you know, there were a couple tracks on here that I that I actually liked. I just think overall as a whole album itself with those 16 tracks and 52 minute runtime, it doesn't really work. And I feel like the promotion with this album really helped it because if it got a lot of promotion, I feel like this is something that would have really just hurt me to listen to. So this was something that I wasn't really looking forward to. And, you know, it didn't really impress me at all, but it wasn't, it wasn't terrible by any means. And I feel like there all are some salvageable moments on this album. I'm just hoping Don can come out of this with something a lot better and kind of evolve to make a new sound next time. Either way though, didn't like this album that much. Thought it was pretty, pretty average. So I'm gonna have to go with a five out of 10 on this one. Nothing special, Don, you can do better.